Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and in this video I'll be showing how to use the JSON library from Google to read and write JSON files where you're dealing with a root element of an array or a list. So we're going to be storing in a file just a list of objects, and so that's the basis of our root of our object. To get us started, I am continuing from the previous video where we looked at how to configure IntelliJ with uh, JSON. Have a look in the comments below for a link to that video if you don't yet have JSON configured for IntelliJ. I have created a pet rock class, and all we need to know about the pet rock is it has a name, a string, it has a weight, which is the double, and it stores a location, which is a separate class, and I've got this little class here, and the location just stores a latitude and longitude. That's all we need to know. So, I've got already a bit of code that's going to build me a uh, list, in this case, of my rocks. So my rocks are going to go through, and I'm going to build for each one, create a location that's 40 plus i, and so forth. I'm going to create a pet rock named Stony, and I'm going to add on Stony sub whatever um, to append an i there, uh, just to give us some bit of data. OK, so now that I've got my rocks that I want to work with, I want to write these out to a JSON file. Now, in order to do that, I need to first create my JSON uh, object. And then I'm going to write my array, or my list in this case, list or array, uh, to the file. It turns out that G, uh, JSON, the Java object notation uh, representation, does not differentiate between a list and an array. So we're going to kind of use those two interchangeably here. We'll see some code that we can read back as a list or read back as an array. We'll do it both ways. So first I need to create my uh, JSON object. I'm going to go JSON, JSON equals new JSON is a standard way to do this. We'll come back and we'll come up with a different way to do this in a minute. Oops, dot JSON. And I'm going to hit Alt Enter here to import the class. This is going to work because I got my project correctly set up for working with JSON. If this doesn't work, check out the previous video, going to File, Project Structure, and setting up that library for JSON. OK, so I've got my JSON object I can now work with. Let's go ahead and write it to the file. This turns to be really easy. So I can say here, I want to create my file writer, file writer, oops, file writer, and it's going to be my writer equals new file writer. I give it a path. Let's call this one rocks.json. And file writer, good enough. Got the same type as I did before, at least I'm consistent. Import the class, we're good to go. This is going to generate some exceptions, so I'm going to Alt Enter, surround with try catch. And once I got my writer, I can use that to write it out. So I can say JSON dot, and then I can say to JSON. And I tell it what's the source element. My source element I want to write out is just my list. It's called rocks. And then I specify where to write it. I'm going to write it to my writer. Let's call it writer here my writer object. Now this is going out to disk. I could have written it out anywhere else. I need to then close it. So I'm going to say uh, writer.close. And I think that that'll do me. I'm going to run this, Control shift f 10 And we'll see that it runs. No input to the screen, but it does create a rocks.json file. And here's my rocks.json file. It's a little hard to read at the moment because it's actually not what's called pretty printing it. So let's go back and make it pretty print it. So instead of using this standard constructor, I'm going to use a static factory method on the JSON library. So I'm going to say JSON, JSON equals, and I'm going to use a JSON builder. Using the, this uses the builder pattern. So I'm going to say here, new JSON builder. And then I'm going to start to uh, configure it. So I can say period dot, and I'm going to call a method on my JSON builder. And I want to say set pretty printing. So I'll select set pretty printing. I then need to create my JSON object, which is a create method. So this builds me a JSON object, which is set to be doing pretty printing. So I'm going to rerun my program, and we'll see that it comes up with the same thing as before. Let's look at the file for rocks. And now rocks looks kind of like a nice file. You can see each of the objects. Here's one object, and it has in it a nested object. So that's all there is to it, to writing this data out. Uh, one minor change that I want to make is here I had to open and close. I'm going to use the Java uh, try with resources, which automatically closes a resource if you declare it inside the bracket here. So now I just switched it over to that. 
All right, let's read it back. Read from file. So we're going to want to open this up again, and I'm going to need to use a reader on this. So I can say here I can use an array. I'm going to do this with an array first. Let's do uh, as an array. So arrays turn out to be easier one. So I'm going to create a file reader. And let's call this one reader equals new file reader. And I pass it in the string. And this is going to be rocks.json. Alt enter to import it. Looks good. It's throwing an exception as well. Alt enter to surround with try catch. I'm going to then use uh, JSON to access it. So I can say json.fromjson. And I pass in the reader. I need to pass in the type. And my type here is going to be the type of the things that I'm working with, which turns out to be I want an array of them. So I'm going to use a pet rock array dot class. And it gives me a type. So I can say here, pet rock class, and I'm going to call this one rocks. Uh, I've already got this, so I'm going to call this one my rocks. So I'll read in my rocks, and let's do something with it for each pet rock inside uh, called R inside of my rocks. We're just going to print out to the screen S out and print out R. R has a two string method, and so this will actually look OK when I call it. All right, let's do that. So Shift F10. We're going to run this. It will have written to the file, and then it reads it back out of there. And here's all the elements it read back, which are the ones that we created earlier. So that's how I do it with an array. If I want to do this let me do it here with an array, if I want to switch this over to doing this instead as a list, I have to change things around just a little bit. So I can't. I cannot just say, I want to say list pet rock is kind of what I want to do. My pet rock, and I'm going to call this one my rocks again. Yeah, nope. My rocks equals, I want to say json dot from json, passing in my reader. And I would kind of want to say, I want this to be an array list of pet rocks dot class, but it turns out through uh, type erasure and a few other things, I can't actually do that. Oh, I need my reader still. Let's come back to this. Give me my reader. It turns out that this is not actually going to work. I can't quite do this. I have to do an extra stage first. I have to declare the types that I want to work with. So I say I want to type, my new type, rock list type, I'm going to call it, equals a new, and I say type token. And my type token is of type, well, it's going to hold an array list, array list of pet rock. And we're going to do an anonymous class here, and I'm going to get the type of it. T Y P E. There we go. And so type Alt Enter, import the class, reflections, and then Alt Enter here, import the class. And there we go. Now I can no longer, I cannot use this kind of, I wanted to do that, and I can't use that. What I have to say here is just the type. So this is my rock list type. And so now, these lines together will create the reader, define the type of an array list of pet rocks, and then allow me to read it in. So let's run that. So I run that. It gives me a list. Of course, I could have also read it in as an array and then converted it to a list. Yeah, that would work too. There's lots of ways to work with that. But we can see here that there's a, at least from Java, uh, Jason's point of view, there's not really any difference between an array and an array list or any other type of list. Uh, just a little bit of our syntax has to change to tell Java about it. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.